I love talking personal finance. I mean, clearly I've got this YouTube thing going. So why is it that I, a self-proclaimed money nerd, don't use credit cards? Aren't they one of the best ways to build credit and get free benefits? We're gonna get into all that right now, so hit those like and subscribe buttons and let's get started. My name is Caleb and my goal is to teach you the boring topic of finance in an entertaining and engaging way. I'm truly honored that you're here. Make sure you stick around to the end to see something pretty exciting. It might actually be horrifying for some of you. I've been asked on a few occasions why we don't use credit cards. I mean, you get the points and the cash back and as long as you pay it off, it's not a problem, right? I love rewards and benefits. Sometimes I'll drive somewhere and lose money and fuel just so I can get something for free. If there's a benefit to be had, I like to take advantage of it. And there's some pretty tempting benefits with credit cards. For one, security. Credit cards have great security. If there's any fraudulent activity, all it takes is a quick phone call to the credit card company to have it taken off of your account. They'll send you a new card and you'll still have all your access to your money through your debit card. Two, credit cards allow you to build credit so it's easier to get loans if you need them. Three, credit cards allow you to get rewards like airline points or cash back on money that you spend on a regular basis. Four, credit cards can give you an extra layer of insurance on items that you purchase. So why don't I take advantage of these benefits? Are you stupid or something? I can see the benefits, I really can. I'm so aware of our financial status, it would be easy for me to take advantage of the benefits without ever paying any interest on the credit. Let me explain myself, but first let's get into some of the darker details of credit cards. In 2019, the average American's credit card balance was $6,194. And just in 2020, the average credit card interest rate was 15.78%. That means in just a year, the average American is paying just short of $1,000 in interest on their credit card balance. That means that credit card companies are making billions upon billions of dollars every year from people who can't afford to use credit cards. Oh my gosh, I hear mice. Oh. Credit cards are heavily marketed in America, and it's pretty clear why. These companies make a ton of money off of people who can't pay it off every month. I think everyone uses the excuse that credit cards are okay because they can pay it off every month. But statistics show that real life looks different than intentions. Now before we get into why I don't use credit cards, we gotta thank our sponsor, Microphones. Thanks to Microphones, you're able to hear everything that I Well, I guess this week's sponsor is a dud. I love talking money with people so much that I got training to be a financial coach from Ramsey Solutions. I really want other people to enjoy the freedom of no debt. The reason I don't use credit cards is because as a financial coach, I want people to understand that it's possible to live without them. Those who need financial coaching are more likely to be those who need to quit using credit cards in order to get their financial lives back in shape. Sure, credit cards carry some great benefits, but not for those who are paying the interest. People who need financial coaching are more likely to be the ones who are paying over 15% interest on those credit cards. As a result, I'm gonna recommend to anyone who I coach that they should cut up their credit cards. I can't in good conscience use credit cards when I tell others they shouldn't. I just can't do it. One part of the Bible that I think particularly relates to this is when the Apostle Paul tells people this. Therefore, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. In a similar way, I don't wanna be a stumbling block to those who need to get rid of credit cards in order to live a better, less financially stressful life. I don't want someone who's deeply entrenched in credit card debt to say, well, Caleb uses credit cards and he pays them off every month. I can do it too. I want them to say, Caleb is proof that I don't have to live with credit cards anymore and he can support me in that decision. We can live without credit cards together. That's why part of Dave Ramsey's baby steps involves cutting up credit cards and never using them again. Credit cards are designed to make lots of money for corporations, not you. So I wanna support people who need to do this by not using credit cards myself. Personally, I've found a couple other reasons why I don't need to use credit cards. One, debit cards have similar security measures. If there's a fraudulent purchase, all I need to do is inform the bank as soon as I see it, and then they'll take care of refunding me the money and sending me a new debit card. Now here's an idea about how to handle the possibility of fraudulent activity, especially if you might not have a debit card for a couple days. Go open up another checking account on another bank and then throw some extra cash in there, maybe two to $500 if you have it. If something happens and your primary bank has to send you a new debit card, 
just use that secondary debit card for any groceries, gas, or other expenses that may pop up in that amount of time. Two, Bailey and I don't actually need credit. I don't like payments at all, so we've committed to paying for everything with cash from here on out. And contrary to popular opinion, you don't actually need credit to purchase a house. If you go with a company that does manual underwriting, you can still obtain a mortgage with a great interest rate, no credit needed. Same with cars. If you purchase with cash, you don't need a credit score. Better yet, you don't have to pay interest. Three, I find it a lot easier to track our finances since we only use debit cards. I never have to wonder if we have enough money in our bank account to pay for our credit card bill because every time we make any purchase, that money is taken straight out of our checking account. Seriously, we have to legitimately live below our means because if we don't, we run out of money. Four, many debit cards actually have rewards as well. As of this video, Discover actually has a checking account that gives you 1% cash back on up to $3,000 of purchases per month. Not bad. This whole video is to say that there are some nice benefits on the surface of credit cards. When I'm at a store and someone says, if you apply for our credit card, then you can get a free gallon of chocolate milk. Oh, it's all I can do to hold myself back. But I just can't justify it myself with the kind of financial help that I wanna provide other people. I won't judge other people for using credit cards. If they wanna use them, that's their business. That doesn't mean I won't encourage someone to get rid of them if they ask me though. In fact, if you ever need me to coach you in your finances, you can bet that I'll encourage you to cut up your credit cards. Okay, now we're gonna do something fun. Now, Bailey and I haven't actually used our credit cards since 2017 when we got married, but we didn't get rid of them yet because we were still warming up to the idea of not using them ever again. So, here's to the future. And so I wanna pass this question on to you. Do you use credit cards? Why or why not? I wanna hear from you in the comments down below. Also, make sure you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm because that's how YouTube determines whether they should share this video with someone else. And hit that like and subscribe button because then you can stay up to date on all the videos that I have coming out to help you take forward strides in your finances. Remember, money doesn't have to be confusing. You can control it. All right, me and my tiny desk and my chopped up credit card are out.